Good morning, church family. So glad to be with you for this morning daily devotion. And today I want to bring you a devotion based on a hero of faith that's found in the Bible. One of the great things that I like about the Bible is when it talks about all of the hero of faith, it doesn't sugarcoat anything. The Bible will tell it as it is. That means all their mistakes, all their struggles, it's all written at this because I believe all those journey that they have, the challenges that they face as part of the development of their characters and of their stories to become the hero that we now know as it is. So today, the story is going to be based on Abraham. And in the Bible, Abraham is known as the father of faith. You see, when God called him to a foreign place to give to Abraham, Abraham responded immediately because he trusts God that God is uh, preparing a great place for him and his descendants. However, not long after he left the, his hometown to go to this foreign place, in Genesis chapter 12, he made a big mistake. Yep, he did. He presented his wife, Sarah, to Pharaoh as his sister. And the reason why he does that is because he was afraid that he would get killed. So he said, no, this is my sister. You can take him as your wife. What was he thinking? Thankfully, God intervened, rescued the situation, and Sarah was uh, taken back from Pharaoh, and they got out of this, of this situation and, and, uh, and sketched as, as it is. You would thought that he learned a lesson from there, right? But no, <laughs> he did the same thing again in chapter 18. All right, he presented to another king, his wife, Sarah, to be his sister again. And for the very same reason, he, because he was afraid that he will get killed. Again, God has to intervene. All right, so two big mistakes presenting your wife as your sister to be taken by the kings to be their wives. And both times God rescued him. And we will have thought, well, okay, is that the biggest mistake? Uh, well, when God promised Abraham and Sarah that they're going to have a child, they waited for years and years and years, and they decided to take things into their own hands. Okay, so what did they do? Sarah told Abraham, hey, you go sleep with the servant to have the child, and that will be the promise, the uh, son that God has promised us. And Abraham did. So he created another mistakes and God has to rescue the situation because the servant was kicked out of the house and uh, the son Ishmael was treated unfairly. So God rescued Sarah Hagar, the servant, and blessed Ishmael and rescued the whole situation again. Now, just think about it. If I were to do that to my wife, I think I'm going to get a pastoral counseling immediately from my senior pastor on marriage and faith, family matters, right? So it's not just like, a, you know, mistakes like you buy something wrongly from the internet. It's some serious, serious stuff. But through that journey, God continues to want to bless Abraham. He continued to work in Abraham's favor. You know why? Because every time when something happens, Abraham continued to trust in God. You see, in Romans 4, 20, it says, No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. That is why his faith, which is Abraham's faith, was counted to him, was counted to Abraham as righteous, as righteousness. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours also. You see, our faith, when it's counted as righteousness, is not depending on us. It's depending on God, on who he is. So church, I want to encourage you that you don't beat yourself too much. If When you made a mistake in life, or when you take matters into your own hands instead of trusting God, or when you doubt or have unbelief, or what God has called you to do. Because our righteousness is not counted based on what we believe. It's not counted based on what we can do. But because it's counted based on the faith in God. 
our continuous trust in Him and who He is. Not what we have done and not what we have do. So continue to trust in God even when you seem that you have made quite a bit of mistakes, even when you have doubt because God is the one that is in control. Alright? Have a faith-filled week ahead.